Here we're looking at the setup of a stationary thickness planer. So looking at the uh, bottom half here, the bed, this is the part of the stationary thickness planer that moves. It moves up and down to give you the thickness of the cut uh, uh, as you, for your boards. Now these bed rollers right here are set just above the table or the bed by a thickness of a hair. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that way the board slides through the machine a lot easier. Okay. And our infeed roller typically is machined to grab a hold of the wood so the wood doesn't slip and push it into the thickness planer and uh, maintain that speed going through. Next thing you get to is the chip breaker here. That will break off any of these chips if you happen to be planing against the grain so the, the splinters don't go deep into the wood or deeper. Okay, a, a stationary thickness planer will have uh, three knives minimum uh, or it will have the spiral head which has the small square um, square blades, knives that you can rotate through. So there are all kinds of different options but three long knives minimum. Okay, and then on our outfeed table, outfeed roller, we have um, the extra roller that keeps your board from flopping around inside the machine so it helps hold it down while it's making the cut so no vibrations. Uh, minimum thickness or sorry minimum length of piece for the, the thickness planer is this distance between your low feed rollers. Okay. Anything shorter than that the place could disappear into sawdust very quickly. So your piece needs to be held by at least the infeed or the outfeed rollers at any given time. Okay, so that is your minimum length. Grain direction, you should be maintain your grain direction. So this would be the grain of your lumber. That way that uh, will give you the best cut. So always have a check of uh, grain direction when you're sticking your lumber into the thickness pointer.